Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tia at B5 Designs and I just came on to show my Hobby Lobby haul. In my previous video, I talked about going shopping with my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter, which we did and got a lot of cute stuff um, and some toys. Um, so that was fun. My little granddaughter's so cute. She's very chatty, social little girl for being one year old. Of course, you know, she just babbles basically, you know how it is, but uh, she's so cute. She's so funny. And then they came in and we played for a while and my husband um, was here. And so she played with grandpa and grandma and had fun. And so that was fun. I did not end up going to the resale shops that I wanted to go to. I think the one, it's more like um, home decor and stuff like that. I think they're closed tomorrow. The other one I think is open tomorrow, so I might go tomorrow. I don't know. I have a project that I need to do on my Cricut for, uh, I told my boss I would do for him. And so I need to do that. And so I don't know. And I just really want to craft. I haven't gotten a craft but I did run to Hobby Lobby and there's a general dollar general store here in my town it's like one of the first dollar general stores that we got here and I had ran in there the other day because there's a carpet store next to it and I needed to pick up some carpet samples for um, at my work and so I thought well I'm just gonna dodge in here and you know, Dollar Generals now have a little craft section, and this one had a whole, like, lower shelf full of stickers, but I didn't have time to go through it, so I'm hoping to go back there. Like, I need another sticker in my life, but, you know, what else? Anyway, so, um, Christmas at Hobby Lobby is 50% off. I actually went in to get this country Christmas pad and I saw this one. There's a couple others I'd like to get. I don't really need them, but I think they would be good to have in my arsenal. But this one is just country basics and um, it is 16 designs, six by six, three of each design. And you can kind of see just really basic Christmas designs, but I thought they'd be cute, you know, backgrounds for tags. It is not double-sided. I don't think, really, I don't think that they ever um, sell double-sided paper at Hobby Lobby, but I could be wrong. This one's cute. So, there's that. It's not, you know, you guys know, it's not like super thick but it's not super thin either it's durable enough this is <clears throat> excuse me this is actually the one that I went in to get which is the country Christmas I thought it was super cute and it is 15 designs for each eight uh yeah eight and a half by 11 and it does have some cute little prints I haven't really I really like that page. That was cute. Brought a whole lot of... I, I've i always been more... Well, it used to be I used to buy all my papers, you know, like the $5 pads at Michael's. And then this is kind of interesting. And then, you know, Michael's kind of... I guess COVID happened and they kind of switched up how they do things. Both stores, you know. And um, so I have been kind of buy. I like like my cardstock paper from Michaels, but I will buy um, single sheets a lot from Hobby Lobby, and then some of their paper pads. I don't need paper, like we all say. But you know, you see something different that you've not. You know, you just kind of want to get it. So that is that one. It's kind of different. And then I got this one. And again, there's 50% off. So this is a good price for $9.99. It's Marion Magical. Again, 15 designs 
four of each sheet, eight and a half by 11. It's neat that it's got foil in it. And of course, you know, there's always going to be pages like this that don't necessarily have to be Christmas. Sorry for the glare, guys, but it kind of shows you the foiling. This one's really cute. It just like has little random stars that are foiled. Sometimes, because I tend to be more of a plain and simple crafter, some of these backgrounds can be... Ugh. Some of these backgrounds can be a little difficult. That reminds me more of like a New Year's picture. Um, some of these backgrounds can be a little more difficult for me to work with because I feel like they're so busy. This is cute. But then... You know, you, I don't know. It, you don't want to cover them up either, or at least I don't, but I do. I end up doing that. And that's okay. You know, we all craft our own way. This is cute. So, yeah, I thought this was a cute paper pad. And they don't have much left in their clearance, but I did pick this up. I don't think I have it, and I thought it would be so cute and... Um, embossed and then maybe watercolored in and of course you know I got my new watercolor pencils Tim Holtz ones so I, I they have a few more of the not this print you know what I'm saying um and I'm just like oh, I don't know um they're not you know they have some left I guess so they're not like super hot cake sales um I did pick up some of these I thought they'd be cute in a layout or on a card and they were $1.74 and then I got the uh, ivory or off-white these kind of look like pumpkins to me and um, then I got this that they'd be cute behind a flower um, the paper studio stuff was 40% off so I went ahead and picked this up I thought this would make a cute card front and for 40% off of 249, dollars why not? Cute. And then, of course, the Christmas stuff is 50% off. And I thought these would be cute on little tags. So I picked those up. I like to make my tags to give. My husband loves it when I make tags for the Christmas gifts we give. And I usually make them for my daughter-in-law's. But my one daughter-in-law... By the time I get them to her over Thanksgiving, she's already got all her Christmas presents wrapped and stuff because they do a lot, obviously, of their, their stuff ahead of time. And I did pick up two of the Paper Studio Christmas Basics Paper Crafting Kit. I guess I liked this because, of, not I guess, I liked this because I like the Buffalo Check, of course, and I thought the little stickers were really cute. And then, um, so you get a sticker sheet, an alpha sticker sheet, a gemstone sticker sheet, and 24 die cuts. And this is kind of what the die cuts look like. I always have this idea that I'm going to take the picture frame ones and make them into shakers and have them that way. But I thought that was pretty cute. And then I got this vintage Christmas paper crafting kit, which is probably very similar to oh I didn't get they have a vintage paper uh, vintage Christmas paper stack as well and this is really I think really pretty and of course you get the stickers and you get the die cuts they give you so much die cuts I think you get 38 die cuts and then so this one has 10 12 and 12 by 12 scrapbook paper is a sticker sheet an alpha sticker sheet and 38 die cuts so you get a lot of little tags in there I know sorry my focus is not very good it does I can't really see the stinking papers stinking papers I should just open it but that'll take me forever just trying to get it to focus a little bit better I always like the candy cane stripe, and of course I like anything that has the black. Okay, 
okay. I talked myself into opening it. Why not make this into a 20 minute video, right? <laughs> oh my goodness sake. Is it? How did she get it open? I didn't want to open it before I did the video because I didn't want to get the pieces mixed up. And of course, instead of going in my craft room and recording in my craft room, I decided to do it at my dining room table. So, yeah, it would need one hand. But I really, really want to see. Oh my goodness. Can't complain about their packaging. Oh my gosh. I really wanted to see this paper. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And they're not, you know, they're more like typing paper type or copy paper type weight. Not crazy about that one, but that's all right. This is really pretty. Oh my gosh. Really? This is what I really like. I just like that look, I guess. And then, of course, you got the candy cane stripe. So that's pretty cute. So that's it, you guys. Hopefully I'm going to work on my junk journal tonight. That's my plan for it'll be, it'll end up being probably, let's see. Um, August, September, no, September, October, November. And then I think I'll do a standalone for Christmas, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But anyway, I'll come back on eventually and show you what I've done. And so I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.